the front of the frame to left to right is NASA astronauts Frank Rubio in the suit with the unmarked uh, with no stripes is NASA astronaut Nicole Mann and to her right is NASA astronaut Josh Cassida. Rubio and Cassida are helping man, uh, serving as EV2 for this particular spacewalk, with the final steps before putting her into the crew lock. Definition views. This is Nicole Mann, call sign Duke. She's wearing the suit with no stripes, and she's got that giant bag with her. That's the strut bag that has the mounting platform uh, that they're going to be installing today. Both of them will be uh, working on the 1A channel. Koichi Wakata's got to make a stop first to work on the 1B, um, but Nicole Mann's going to get uh, get started right away. So she's got that bag in tow. Uh, she'll be able to unbuckle uh, some of the straps that are holding those components in place, uh, retrieve some of the materials, and it is. Uh, they'll be installing it one at a time. Um, the ground teams have plenty of experience with this type of work. This is this will be the sixth modification kit, the sixth time that we've used these struts to attach to a, a mast canister. Um, so they're prepared for uh, any of uh, issues or troubleshooting they need to do along the way. Um, and that work will be being done soon. Right now, we're just watching the translation. That's a good report from the ground IV, uh, Zena Cartman. Uh, along the way, the teams continue to monitor the progress uh, through the procedures, as well as something called limiting consumables. Uh, the spacesuits that they're wearing uh, has everything they need in terms of life support. It has it provides the pressure, the air, it provides water, uh, it also provides battery power. Everything is portable uh, as they do this work outside of the International Space Station. Now an hour into today's spacewalk, we plan for six and a half hours. Uh, everything seems to be on track in terms of the timeline and the limiting consumables. They'll continue to monitor this throughout as it could fluctuate, uh, but right now we're looking good. Right now, uh, Koichi Wakata, you see in the suit with red stripes, he just handed off the uh, upper triangle to. Duke, if it's easier, you can lean back to do that rolling motion, or you can also have Koichi take control back. Let me, yeah, let me get. Uh, uh, could you stay there? Looks like uh, this uh, table is. Yeah, so Duke has control of that over upper triangle. Koichi just guiding her as she needs to rotate it into position that's appropriate for installing it on the mast canister.
when I get it, I use the boot plate to have a little bit more of an arm. Maybe we, um, I hold on to the toe loop. So if I rotate the boot plate all the way around, would that help? And it was like a smooth squeeze yeah, maybe, to get yeah. it to move. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah let's I get try it that. unstuck. It was sticky the whole time. Yeah, let's try that. So in order to do that, do you need to roll 90 degrees? Would that help? Or, or cause I don't know, can you grab onto here? Where the heels go? Like if you can grab onto that heel, then we'll go down to some smooth motion down. Okay. Let's try that. Shall we just move? It's reaction to that motion. Maybe if you push away, like push on the front of it. You guys like can baby, but like a smooth roll and yaw that boot plate right. as you need uh, in order to get the boot plate in a better position for leverage. And just a reminder to avoid using the glove for a pounding motion like that. if that helps get some more leverage. Yeah. 